right, Ziggy? Morning party, people. A lot of people are saying Slab City sold. A piece of Slab City sold. Is it true? Did someone buy part of Slab City? No. No one bought Slab City. It's a piece of private property on the edge of Slab City. You see, party people, the residents of Slab City started coloring outside the lines a long time ago. There's a lot of camps that aren't in Slab City. What is Slab City? It's about 164 acres, shaped like a rectangle, kind of offset. It's surrounded by private land and BLM land. I mean, look at all the camps on the lower canal. They're definitely not in Slab City. I lovingly call that place Slab City South. But yeah, party people, there's a handful of camps built on private land out here. And it looks like a little piece of it sold. What are they going to do with that property? Nobody buys land unless they plan on developing it, you know? Some say a solar farm. That would be foolish. There's cheaper land to do that out in this desert. And do you really want to build a solar farm next to a bunch of slabbers? Every morning the sun comes up, you might be missing a few panels. Or maybe someone will tap into the power, power their camp with it. I don't know. I don't know what they plan on doing with it, but apparently, yeah, peace sold. I heard a few weeks ago that Spider was trying to sell the Ponderosa. Now I know why. Those camps may be asked to move. They're not the only ones on private land party people. Full disclosure, my camp's on private property. I'm not inside the Slab City grid. I think the state call it grid 36. Believe me, up in Sacramento, they're not calling this place Slab City. We call it Slab City. The state calls it, I believe, grid 36. It's a rectangle. And yeah, a piece of private property sold right along the side of it. There's four or five camps on it. Who knows what the future holds for them? You can't buy Slab City unless you're a 501c nonprofit. East Jesus bought a little bit of the land. They bought what, 30 something acres? But they're a 501c nonprofit, party people. And why would you want to buy Slab City? Who would want to buy a piece of desert land with a bunch of hardcore uh, squatters who's been sitting on it for decades? Too many headaches. And what are you going to do? Develop the land? Party people. This was a military base in the 1940s before there was an EPA. Try developing this land. It'll turn into an EPA nightmare, a super fun cleanup site. That's right, party people. Four or five feet under our, under the ground we're walking on is probably not all that great. So Slab City proper, the lines on the map that show grid 36 did not sell. Private property on the edge of Slab City sold. Thought I'd clear that up because I see so many videos saying a 
piece of slab city sold. No, 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 no. Oh, and a friend of mine wants me to tell some of the newbies out here, stop posting online how hot it is. We fucking know how hot it is. And for you going through your first summer out here, you're getting lucky. I have not seen a 125 degree day yet. I think the most I've seen is 117 for a day or two. I think today it's going to get 114, 115. But we haven't seen those. Hey, uh, yeah, let me let me tell you this. You think when it's hot, it's fucking hot. There's not a difference between 117 and 120. There is. You feel it. I can feel the heat rising. We've been getting lucky. We're into late July, and I haven't I really haven't seen a 120 degree day yet. So yeah, you don't need to post it's hot. We fucking know it. I had something else I wanted to tell you guys, but I can't remember what it is right now. All right, I can't remember, so I'm gonna wrap this up. Bam, peace and love from Grid 36. Ha <laughs> ha, Slab City. California. Got them summertime blues. Stay hydrated. Bye-bye.